This really, when you're this close to elephants, and I'm not quite sure what they're doing anyway, because I'm looking at the camera, it is a highly emotional experience. But I believe, in my experience as a wildlife artist who owes his success to these wonderful animals, that I think the elephant is one of the most popular animals. And to be able to bring this through to people, that these animals deserve a better fate than to be killed for their ivory. After all, these lovely, gentle gentlemen behind me don't mean me any harm at all. They know I'm not going to hurt them. They've never been shot at by poachers. Long may that remain. And that's why they know I'm here. They know we are here, but they're not taking a blind bit of notice of us. The only concern I have personally is that I'm getting too blasé with them now. And one day I'm going to walk straight up to them because I love them so much. This is a highly emotional moment for me, and I hope it is for those who are viewing this. After all, there are very few places, if any, in Africa where you can get this close. And just watch them getting on with the business of being elephants and making all the noise that elephants make and just... I mean, it's un 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 This is an artist's paradise in the evening light. Paradise is the word to see an elephant sunlit in that glorious orange light of the evening with the doves floating around as well. The light orange earth, the long shadows and that black thunder sky because it's going to rain very shortly in Sabuti. What more could an artist wish for than that? Thanks to these lovely animals. I love them so much, I want to go up and pat them. I wouldn't be that stupid, but I think when you watch this film, you can understand my feet. Oh, isn't that lovely? Look at that. How can I possibly go on talking when that happens?